a review on the home light 16 inch or 400 millimeter electric chainsaw this is about a $60 chainsaw at Home Depot and I chose this over the Harbor Freight model because I figured that it, it would be a little bit better quality and it was frankly the same price. Harbor Freight's gotten stupid expensive on the bulk of their tools. So one of the reasons I like an electric chainsaw is it always starts. As long as it's got power, it'll start. No stupid carburetor, no gas, no oil. You know, I don't use a chainsaw enough living in the city to really justify having a gas one. Although I have a gas one, the carburetor is messed up and hasn't run in years. I even have a cordless one, and that's great if all you need to do is trim one stick. But if you've got some work to do, or a tree to cut down on your in your yard, you really need an electric one. So today's project is, I'm going to whack all these bushes because I don't like them. They're ugly, vines grow on them, and... They need to go out for trash pickup, so here we go. Is this has a tendency to work its way loose. No big deal, just tighten it periodically.
So there you have it. In about 15, 20 minutes, I got rid of all those bushes, no gas, no smell, no mess, start, stop, no problem. Starts every time I pull the trigger as long as it's plugged in. It's a wonderful thing. So I uh, highly recommend electric chainsaw for the average homeowner who has just a few bushes or a single tree to get rid of. Um, just watch that chain will pop off if you put tension on it, uh, left to right. It's not really designed for that. That's what causes it to let go. And, and that's not really a big deal. I'm wearing gloves for protection from the brush. Um, so anyway, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Check out the links in the video if you want one of these. Have a great day.